Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and welcome to the fifth video in my Music Theory for Drummers and Percussionists series. So today we're going to continue with our scales. The video before this, number four, we did major and minor scales. We did all the forms of minor, natural, harmonic, and melodic. So we're going to expound on this today by working on the modes, as well as the blues scale and the chromatic scale. So let's start with the chromatic scale first. Most of you know what that is. Uh, but if you don't, I'm going to go over it. So all the chromatic scale is, is every note on the keyboard. So if you do a chromatic scale, you just go up like this. So you go up and down the keyboard every note. And there's certain exercises you can do. I like a four note exercise, which is this. my old Aurora vibe uh, vibrating there with all the energy. So those are really good exercises to do for chromatic. Now you're going to use chromatic scales quite a bit if you play jazz. So they fit over lots of types of chords, especially chords that are, um, you know, a little bit dissonant, like... kind of sound, all right? So if you have 13th chords with flat nines or sharp 11s, things like that, altered chords, they sound great. So it's a really good thing to know for playing jazz, and obviously classical music as well uses lots of chromaticism. So that's a scale that you should practice every day, be fluent in it, and you can use all the keys on your instrument if you want, so. All right, and just, you know, play up and down, have fun with it. So that's the chromatic scale. Now, Let's talk about the modes, because in the first scales video we did, I talked about two of them, and I think I mentioned it. So when we did the major scales, that's called the Ionian mode. And when we did the minor scale, the natural minor, that's called the Aeolian mode. So we've already done two of them, but what we have left is the sec second mode, which is Dorian, the third, which is Phrygian, the fourth, which is Lydian, the fifth is Mixolydian, and the sixth, like I said, is Aeolian, and the seventh is a mode called Locrian. All right, and some of them are used more than others. So when we play that major scale, that's the Ionian mode. That's the first mode, it's just C major. And to make this simple for you to understand, I'm just going to be playing diatonically on C. And if you just do that and play no accidentals whatsoever and start on C, you can actually count the modes. So playing a C scale, major scale, on the consecutive notes. So a C major scale on C, that's Ionian. A C major scale on D, that's Dorian. A C major scale on E, That's Phrygian, a C major scale on F. That's Lydian, a C major scale on G. That's Mixolydian, a C major scale on A. That's Aeolian, that's minor, and a C major scale on B. That's Locrian. Okay, that's one way to think about these things. Now let's talk about how some of these are used. And again, like I said, some are more common than others. One of the most common ones is Dorian. So that's used on minor chords. So if you have a two, five, one progression, that two chord, that minor chord, in other words, if you're in C major, that would be a D minor chord. You use D Dorian. There's no wrong notes in that. None. All right. Now, if I play D minor scale over that, over this change, a D minor 9, here's how it sounds. So we have our B flat 
in D minor and that rubs just a little not too bad but so a better choice is that B which is that Dorian mode okay now I'm not gonna give you rules or anything you can play any note wherever you want a lot of people think as I do there's no wrong notes really in jazz if you hit something that sounds bad go up a half step or down a half step and you're probably gonna be fine all right but there definitely are notes that sound better than others. So that's what you want to do. So that's when that uh, scale is used. So that's D Dorian. Now you need to know these in every key. So if we were an E flat major, then you'd play F Dorian. All right, now another way to think of Dorian is a minor scale, natural minor, with a sharp six. So in other words, D minor, our sixth note is B flat. So we're just sharpening that, making that B natural. And that's our Dorian mode. So any natural minor scale you play, you just sharp that six and you got Dorian. So that's another way to think about it. There's always a few ways to think about these things. Now, the next mode is called Phrygian. So this is a little less common. It's used by lots of uh, contemporary jazz composers, especially Chick Corea, Keith Jarrett. A lot of these guys use um, this mode quite a bit. So a Phrygian mode is a minor uh, scale with a flat two. All right. So if I play that diatonically, a Phrygian sounds like this. So that's a, uh, another scale. Now, that, again, you play any minor scale, like E minor, that has an F sharp. And then you're just sharpening that, okay? Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, you're flatting that. So that F sharp becomes an F. And then you have Phrygian. Now, the next mode is much more common. So this is Lydian, and this is used on major chords, like a major nine. So Lydian, what you're doing is you're, it's a major scale, but you're sharpening the four. Okay, so again, we'll go back to our bass here. If we're doing everything diatonically, uh, you play C major scale on F. So that B flat, which would normally be in F major, becomes raised to B natural. All right, so let's say we play um, F major chord. Let's just do that. And we play Lydian over that. bad notes at all okay the next uh, mode is actually even well I'm not gonna say more common but pretty dang common mixolydian because it's used a lot in blues and rock especially so you've heard this when guitar players solo and rock bands man they're always using just tons of mixolydian sometimes the blues scale as well so it's extremely common and a lot of people play it they don't even know that they are playing it but that's what it is so mixolydian is used on the five chord, the dominant chord. And again, if we stick to our bass, uh, it's going to be the fifth note of that C. So you play C major on G. And that's mixolydian. Now, normally, a G major would have that F sharp. But once again, if we play like a G 13 chord no bad notes at all if we play the F sharp a little bit of a 
rub there, okay? But if you use mixolydian, there's no there's no wrong notes. And again, I, I shouldn't say wrong. There's no unfortunate note choices. We'll say that, okay? All right, good. So that's mixolydian, and that works over dominant chords. So G13, G7, G9, that's what you want to use it over. Now, sometimes these chords are altered, so you might have a G13 uh, flat 9, so uh, that would be this. You can also use mixolydian, but you got to remember to flat your 9. The same goes with any alteration of a chord. If it's telling you to flat or sharp something in that chord, when you do your mode, you want to follow those instructions. Otherwise, you're going to get a minor second uh, dissonance there. And if you find yourself doing that, don't hang out there. Move quickly. All right, that's just part of learning how to improvise. So next we have Aeolian, which we already did, and that's minor. Okay, so that's C major on A. Then finally we have Locrian. Locrian is a strange mode, and it does get used uh, in jazz, but we're going to give you that. It's uh, the other way to think about it is a minor scale with a flat two and a flat five. That's our Locrian scale, okay? And uh, when we get into playing more jazz with these videos and uh, chords and stuff, we'll use more of these modes. I just don't want to give you too much right now. I don't want to confuse you. But one thing you want to pull out of this is the most common modes are these. Ionian, which is major, that's pretty common, but a better choice for major chords, improvising-wise, is Lydian. For minor, we have Aeolian, that's our minor mode, but a better choice for minor chords is Dorian because of that sixth. And finally, for Mixolydian, our dominant chords, we want to use uh, the Mixolydian scale. So instead of the major, G major, you know, uh, seven, we want to use the dominant seven, all right? Which again is this. So remember that F sharp in G major would be would be major a major seven, but in a dominant chord we have a minor seven, and that's where our F comes in, and that's why we have no wrong notes in that mixolydian mode. So that's the modes in a nutshell. So next let's look at a couple more scales. Let's do diminished. Okay, so let's just try C diminished. So we go C to C sharp, that's a half step. Then we go to a whole step, which is D sharp. Then we go a half step, which is E. Then we go a whole step, which is F sharp. Then we go a half step, which is G. Then we go a whole step, which is A. Then we go a half step, which is A sharp. And then finally, a whole step, and we're back on C. So. So that's our C half whole diminished scale. So All right, I just played a few notes that are in that scale for you. So a good thing to do again is just play a, a diminished triad. Uh, in other not triad, that was seventh chord, let's say. That's C diminished, and just play those notes. And you could play some other notes like I did there, but the basis of it would be just that C diminished. So you're playing all those notes. The other way to practice that is just play all the way up the keyboard in inversions. And then play down with the scale. I really love diminished uh, scales. I use it a lot in my compositions. So that's C diminished. Now, if you think about the uh, idea of playing diminished, it's all a loop. So if you play a C diminished 
uh, seven chord, it's all in minor thirds. And that goes for all of them. If you play D diminished, same thing. And E diminished, same thing. So all those notes are roughly the same. So in other words, C diminished is the same as E flat diminished, is the same as G flat diminished, is the same as A diminished. All the same thing. Okay, which means the scales are the same too. So that means C diminished scale half whole is the same as E flat diminished half whole. And so on. Same as uh, F, uh, G flat or F sharp diminished, same as A diminished. So that means there's only three diminished scales. And the rest of them are just inversions. In other words, uh, the ones that work on C are C, E flat, G flat, and A. The ones that work on C sharp are C sharp, E, G, and B flat. The ones that work on D are D, F, A flat, and B. That's it. That's all you got to learn, okay? So it's much easier. So in other words, a C sharp diminished scale, and again, half whole, would start on C sharp and do this. And then the D diminished scale would be half whole, half whole as well, like this. All right, so that's our three diminished scales. And then whichever is the next minor third, you can use that and the minor third up and the minor third up. So that's diminished. And the last scale I'd like to go over with you today is the blues scale, which is very common. And again, when we do our improv uh, videos, we'll be going over many of those because it's a big component to soloing in pop music and rock music and especially jazz. So a blues scale is built on a pentatonic scale. Let's say we play F blues. So we play a minor third and then add the perfect fourth. And then we add a tritone. That's our blue note. And then a C, the fifth, and then the minor seven, and then the root. So that's a blues scale. It's pretty simple. All right, now you need to know those in all keys. So B flat, in other words, would be this. And then take that scale and improvise with it. So that's what I do. I'll put my metronome on two and four and, you know. Have fun with it. And the good news is that if you just put on a blues, an F blues, you can play that scale for the whole thing and be fine. Now, that gets very monotonous after a while. It's a good thing to throw in some mixolydian to that too, all right? You know, F mixolydian. So, and there's lots of things you can do with the blues. And again, we'll get into that with the improv videos. So I hope this helps and the next videos we'll start to work on some improvisation. So take care of yourselves.